The 1972 Iran blizzard is the worst blizzard to be recorded in world history. Up until this point in time, Iran had endured a four-year drought. Iranian citizens were used to climates ranging from arid desert to subtropical, not severe winter storms. When the deadly blizzard hit, the citizens were not expecting it and were not prepared. This left villages demolished and thousands dead. Blizzards form through three factors, cold air at below freezing temperature, water vapor, and warm air. When a warm front and a cold front collide, the warm air, which is able to hold more moisture, is less dense and rises and cools. As the warm air cools, it cannot hold as much moisture and precipitation is created. The precipitation is turned into snow by the below freezing temperature air below the warm front. Blizzards are also wind related with the wind lifting the snow through the cold air. Blizzards are typically seasonal and occur during the winter, but blizzards had not been known to occur in this area until the 1972 Iran blizzard. This weather event involved other parts of the Earth's system besides the atmosphere to a great extent, specifically the hydrosphere in relation to the intense snow. The relationship between these two systems seems to be that a change in the atmospheric system led to a change in the hydrospheric system. This weather event went on to affect the biosphere, freezing both humans and whatever plant life was in the area. The blizzard swept across Iran, affecting mostly rural villages, creating a total of 16 feet of snow from February 3rd to February 8th. It is estimated that an area the size of Wisconsin was completely buried in snow for over seven days. The temperature reached negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit, and the snow left people stuck without food, water, and heat for days. A deadly flu virus was also sweeping across rural Iran at the time. On February 9th, the weather eased up just enough to allow rescuers to survey the area. They saw nothing but thick blankets of snow where villages used to be. When they dug in a village called Sheklab, none of the 100 people that lived in that village were alive. Another blizzard hit not long after on February 11th, for forcing rescuers to evacuate. 4,000 people were left dead. It demolished 200 entire villages. There is no record of the economic cost of this disaster. The 1972 Iran blizzard was unprecedented and was likely so disastrous because the citizens were not prepared for such a dangerous winter storm. The time of this deadly blizzard was in the years leading up to the Iranian Revolution, which might have also had an effect on the help the citizens were receiving since many were attempting to overthrow the Shah at the time, and tensions were high. Before evacuation on the 11th, army helicopters left behind two tons of bread and dates, hoping to provide food if anyone was able to dig themselves out of the snow. It does not appear that many were able to. Iran does not seem to be planning for another blizzard since it is very unlikely due to the area's climate. Nevertheless, Iran will always remember the destruction of this disastrous blizzard.